the second triangle in the unit circle, or defined by the unit circle, um, has its base in red here, uh, lying exactly on the x-axis and extending all the way to the edge of the circle. Therefore, that indicates that the base of the triangle is length 1. Now, this means, if we were looking at a triangle, we would have a right angle triangle, an angle theta, a base equal to 1. So therefore we're talking about ratios which have the adjacent as the bottom of the ratio. And we already know one of these opposite over adjacent, that's tan theta. So in this case, tan theta equals our opposite side, this side here. So that the length of that side is tan theta. Then we have hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent equals secant theta. So therefore we know that in this particular triangle the length of the hypotenuse hypotenuse over 1 equals secant theta so therefore the length of the hypotenuse equals secant theta. So that's quite simple. Then if we look at our third triangle. Our third triangle, you might have guessed, is the triangle with the opposite side always equal to 1. And that means that our ratios that we use, that are defined by this special triangle, we have our opposite side equal to 1. So we're looking at the ratios defined by adjacent over op opposite and hypotenuse over opposite. And these ratios, well, adjacent over opposite is cotangent theta. So that means our adjacent side has length cotangent theta. Hypotenuse over opposite is our cosecant theta. So therefore the length of our hypotenuse in this triangle is cosec theta. This means that we have three triangles and when we're talking about them as the unit circle definitions, in effect what the unit circle is has been used for is a construction tool. Um, we could just as easily have said just to find the three triangles individually. One with the hypotenuse equal to, equal to um, one, the red triangle defined by the red line. One with the base, the adjacent side always equal to 1, and 1 with the opposite side always equal to 1, the three triangles. We've just used the circle to help us construct these to show the lengths. Now if we have a look at these three triangles we can see something interesting about our ratios. So let's have a look at three triangles and I'm going to draw them in a very special way. So first of all, I'm going to draw our last triangle. This last triangle had our opposite side equal to 1. We had the entire length equal to cotangent theta. And we had our hypotenuse equal to cosec theta. That was our entire length. Then we have our 
triangle with the base equal to 1. So we have this part equal to 1 and because we're talking about the when having 1 on the bottom we remember that this was the length of this was tan theta and the length of this hypotenuse was secant theta and then we have our third triangle and this one has its hypotenuse equal to 1 and remember theta is in this end of all of the triangles and so therefore it had this red line as sine theta and the base was equal to cos theta because these triangles all have the same angle and they're all right angled triangles they are all similar triangles all three of them and that means that we can make some find some relationships between these ratios using these three triangles and I'll talk about that, those in the next video